In this video, I'm going to talk about ASCII characters and ASCII values. I will also show you how to do the conversion between ASCII characters and ASCII values. First of all, let's try to understand what does it mean by ASCII character and ASCII value, and then we can go for the conversion. Now, the word ASCII basically refers to the American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So it's a character encoding system that helps us to represent any character with numeric codes. Now, there are a lot of things I'm saying. Things are not making sense. Don't worry. I'm going to show you one example. So let's think about a character. When you type something on your keyboard A, immediately maybe you see that A on your monitor. But how does it work? How does the machine know about that it has to represent this A on the monitor? When you type something on the keyboard, let's say you are typing A on your keyboard and it shows immediately on the monitor. How does the monitor know about this that you have typed A? So for each character, there will be unique value when unique numeric value for an example for a we have the ascii value 65 so this is ascii character and then you have numeric value which represent the ascii character in our system now this 65 basically refers to a and you know this is a decimal value if you convert the, this one into binary for an example i can do that 34 here 64 32 and then we have 16 8 4 then 2 1 so this is the binary number for this decimal so computer of course understand binary and then it decode this and shows on the monitor a but that's not something you need to understand at this point you need to understand for ascii characters we have unique numeric value which is something called ascii value for capital b you will have 66 and the number will go like this for capital C, you'll have 67. So basically, for capital A, the ASCII value starts from 65 and then it goes on. For small a, it starts from 97. At least you need to understand these two at this beginning, that for character A, the capital A, we have the ASCII value 65, which is equivalent. And for small letter A, we have the equivalent ASCII value, which is 97. So try to understand what's the difference between them. If you see, the difference is 32 here. So if you think about small b, you will see the small b will be represented by this unique ASCII value 98 for sure. So again, the difference between capital B and small b is 32 here. So this is something you will need later on. But for now, that's all about ASCII character and ASCII value. As I said, the ASCII value starts from zero and then it goes until 127. And each character that we have on our keyboard, probably you can see all of them here. Each of them have some ASCII value, you know, unique value for sure. Now let's try to use this knowledge that we have gained so far. We want to convert from ASCII character to ASCII value at first. So I will take one input here I'm going to name it anything doesn't matter I'll be using this CH or I can even go for like this ASCII character ASCII character so at first I want to take something from user as a character and then I want to show the equivalent ASCII value to the output so let's do that enter any character and we know how to receive the input, how to receive the input by using this get character function. We can do that, or even we can use scanf here. Doesn't matter. So let me go back to this scanf. Person C, the character user will give us. I will take that one into this ASCII character variable. And now I have to convert this character into ASCII value. Well, this is going to be very easy. I will say the equivalent, equivalent ASCII value now how to convert it it's very simple so you want to convert that character into decimal value all you have to do you have to use person d and this person d will you know refer to this ascii character that's all that's all about the conversion here so what's going to happen here first of all you are taking one value one ascii character so you are using person c here the character type and then you are going to convert that person C to person D. So whatever you have the character there, you are converting that character into decimal value. And let me run it and then you'll see what happened. So it says enter any character here. I can give any character. For example, if I give capital A, you can see the equivalent ASCII value 65, which is something I already discussed. I told you the capital A will start from 
65 and same goes like if you want to try others you can give it a try for example if i try the small a you remember the equivalent ascii value is 97 so it's going to give us 97. you can do the exact opposite things so probably you can get an ascii value and then you can convert that into ascii character so let's do this this time we are going to change it here so this time i want to take the decimal value which is ascii value and then i want to convert it to ascii character so i will take the input like this i will just make sure the variable name is correct so i will say ascii value enter any ascii value or enter any value and then we want to receive this inside this ascii value this time we are receiving person d which means basically integer value we are receiving that's why we have to use person d here and then i can say the good and ascii character and i want to convert that person d into person c because we want to represent with the ascii character this time so then i will just copy paste this variable name here that's all and we are done now we can run this program to test this one out let's see what happened so it uh, it is asking me to provide some value here let's see if i provide 97 which is the equivalent to a character so if i try this and you can see the character is small a here